What's up everybody, welcome to another video. I got Michael Tran here. He was able to get top four, fourth place with the Green Bleach deck. Toshiro to be exact. He's here, he's gonna talk about his event in the Eggman tournament. It was the biggest tournament for Union Arena since the conception, the English conception of the game. So we got exciting content for you guys. Uh, what's up Tran, how are you, can you hear us? Yep, can hear you guys, what's up guys? Uh, it's Michael Tran. Uh place fourth um, at the Union Arena tournament that um, Eggman hosted um, and glad to show off this uh, this little this deck I have uh, brewed up uh, with Toshiro. Amazing, amazing. So tell us a little bit about the tournament. How was it? Uh, was it a smooth tournament? How did the games go for you? Uh, yeah, it was a very smooth tournament. Always, um, it's always a pleasure to be a part of Eggman's tournaments. Um, I play One Piece as well, so I play a couple of his uh, tournaments there as well. Um, so all all around very smooth, um, great commentator, uh, great uh, content creator, just like you. Um, but um, for the tournament, um, it was six rounds. Um, I can go through really quickly the the rounds. I had round one against uh, Phantom Troop, uh, round two the mirror match against Toshi Toshiro, round three another Phantom Troop, uh, round four was uh, Karapika. And then round five was my only loss uh, to the guy Daniel, I believe, who came in second with that Rush Bleach deck. And then last round was a Yamamoto. Amazing. So we're going to be able to ask you about the Bleach deck because that Bleach deck came and took over that tournament by storm. I believe the top three were the same deck and they had brewed it. They found out that Purple Bleach, even though it was hit, was actually still very strong and they were able to brew out a very strong list. So we'll be able to ask you about this. Before we get into your matchups and maybe talk about what was uh, easy for you and what was hard, let's talk about the deck here. Let's jump right in. I don't know if you can see it, but we have the deck list over. We have, uh, I'll just shut off my camera for a second. But we have the Retsu at 3. Let's start talking maybe about your 0 lineup. We have Retsu at 3, Toshiro at 4, and then we got the Joshiro and your Nullifier. You actually played the Nullifier in this list. Uh, talk yep. to us a little bit about your decision making for your zeros. Let's start there. Yeah, um, for, for the zeros, definitely a 4 for Toshiro. That's a, that's a must. Um, I like the double energy Joshiro um, just because um, he will keep himself on board and if i need that double energy just in case i think that would be um he's a good ability then three unahana um for sure needed uh for that raid target uh in the later turns and then the cheeky one of the the nullify impact uh reasoning behind that is i don't really like to play it um i really like just to have it in hand and then when the color trigger from either the two cost Toshiro or the five cost Yamamoto comes up, I can play it um, and surprise people and nullify their impact if they do have it on board. Nice, that's a really good application of that card. I was going to ask you, would you ever bring up those numbers higher than one? Is it a card that's necessary right now in the format or do you think you can drop that down? And then also another question, how is the number 11 for your number of zeros? Do you think that was a good number? Do you think you can reduce that by one or increase it by one? What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, um, I definitely think one is fine for the Yumachika. Um, I think he he's good. Um, I wouldn't say he's like necessary um, with all the Karapikas out there with the impacts. Um, but um, sometimes they have the snipe. That's the that's the thing that they have. That's really good. Um, I like this ratio of eleven. I don't think I can go down just because, as you guys can see, I don't run any one cost. Um, so I'm really dependent on trying to find at least two um, zero cost in my beginning hand and I don't remember the, exactly the percentage but it, it should be pretty high with the 11. Um, I think um, the other cards are also very important so keeping it at 11 was a, a good ratio for me. Perfect, perfect. You did mention the snipe. It's a tough matchup right now. I think Green Tosher actually is really strong against the snipers because he can be really aggressive really early and then move into trying to control those snipers. So let's talk a little bit about your bigger uh, characters here. This was something that interested me. Usually in Toshiro decks, you'll see a straight up 3-3 or a 4-4 lineup on their twos for Toshiro Ritsu. For you, you went with a much smaller number. You went only two of the two cost Toshiro and only three of the draw. I think the three of the draw makes sense, even though a lot of people like to be aggressive with the Toshiro early. They like to play those Ritsus down draw gain value attack with it, and then block and then they don't care about it got their <clears throat> uh, attack they got their aggression from it early on and so that's my actually uh, first question here 
was it necessary to go with the, such a small number of Toshiro's and Retsu's or do you think uh, you can bring that up a little bit? Yeah, um, so yeah, just having six, I think that uh, I think that's a good number since I do have only three targets for Unahana raid. Um, you know, uh, three times two usually is like the ratio. Um, I think six was a good number. Then six for Toshiro. So I know uh, some people might see two Toshiro and then two of my other color trigger, the Yamamoto five cost. L seems a little bit weird, but um, after some talk with um, people from my locals. Um, shout out to locals, people. Um, I think the Yamamoto is really, really good in this deck. Um, just because it does provide that additional energy uh, up in the front line. So you can um, turbo out that Unahana really quickly. Um, and then as well as the other um, ability to um, against purple is really good. Purple Bleach. Um, so having the 2-2 two, two, um, I think is really good. Um, I think the deck is consistent enough where um, I will find those Toshiro's, the little ones, uh, for that raid target. Nice. Very, very impressive. And now the deck also utilizes Unahana, so you need to get to 6. Uh, typically by mid-game, typically before by mid-game to late-game, you need to get to 6. So your choice of getting to 6 is very interesting. You chose Izuru. A couple of Sajins and Shunsui. Usually in this deck we see a full throttle Sajin mm -hmm. and Shunsui thrown out. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm very interested to know how Shunsui helped <laughs> you in this uh, game, in this tournament. Was he something that you believe is necessary at 3? Or do you think he actually was... Le is not? You couldn't utilize him mm -hmm. as much as you wanted to? I, I think he's very important. Um, that early game pressure he provides is uh, really good. So let's say they have one character in the front line, um, and I have that Shinsu in the back, and I, let's say I have a Toshiro in the back as well. You know, I'm gonna raid that Toshiro, um, rest his front line, get that three damage in because Shinsu has that double damage, and then of course the raid Toshiro with another damage. So do you do, um, do you so find yourself doing that combo multiple times in the tournament? Um, I, I think I do. Um, it's definitely something I look for as well. Um, okay. I, in that early game, I definitely look for that early game of pressure. Definitely against that, um, you know, Karapika who can like mid to late game, they're, they're forming a wall pretty much. So I think that early game aggression can be good. And then I can close out with um, another card you see there here, Shinji, um, three of, mm -hmm. another MVP of the deck uh, where it gives any, uh, 13 court guard, uh, impact. So I think, um... Shinsui is really, really important. Being a double energy as well is really cool because um, he um, opponents can also be scared if I do move it up from the back line. Um, talking about Seijin now, I think, um, in my opinion, I don't think he's that great. Um, step is a, a weird mechanic in the game now where it can be good, but with all the removal, um, I believe, in the game and the Kiarapika snipe, I think that if you are playing around him moving back the next turn and they just get rid of it, now your plans are all all gone and foiled. So mm. it's it's tough to, um, I think, use the, his full ability of, of step. Um, and then the win attack, um, I never really use it either because I don't really play him in the um, in the front. But he's really mainly there just um, for the for the double in the back. Nice, uh, nice. So that's why I have the three three Shinsui and Shinji. I think they're better uh, two costs and three costs. I think this is going to be an epiphany for a lot of Toshiro players. A lot of them, I think, they believed Sajin is very good. Uh, and I, honestly, I've spoken to a lot of Toshiro players. They don't believe in the Shonsui. Shonsui towards the late game is almost useless. He cannot mm -hmm. attack. He can't land his attacks. But you're right. If your if your worst matchup is Tosh uh, is a uh, uh, let's say if you have a big uh, Kor Korapika presence Korapika is building these big units and he usually doesn't have a strong early presence therefore in a matchup against that deck I think since we can really show a lot of presence play him out early force the Korapika to, to play a little bit weirdly by moving his units a little, uh, too early forwards and then uh, still be able to control uh -huh. his units, still be pushed out that double damage. Uh, was that the strategy you thought you were going to go against a lot of Korapikas? Do you think Shunsui is better for, versus certain decks? Or is he always better than Sajin? Um, I think overall um, he's better than um, Sajin. Um, in the Korapika definitely helps. But I also want to include that it helps very much in the, the mirror. Or against green um, bleach in general. Um, so... If they do not bring anything up, um, I will, you know, try to force them to bring something up because I have a Shinsui in the front uh, dealing double damage. 
And once they do move something up, that brings another energy from their back up. So they're it's slowing them down as well. Um, they need to, you know, do a um, chump blocker or block with another 4k they have. Um, so it's really, it provides that pressure that is really needed against uh, green uh, in general, both Bleach and um, Hunter Hunter. I actually really like it. I think this is a good answer versus Kurapika. You need a little bit of early aggression. This gives you that early aggression, forces the opponent to play differently. I think I didn't like it because it's bad late game, but I honestly, uh, uh, Toshiro doesn't really get to late game a lot. Uh, he's more of a mid game kind of character. So I think that's where, that's why Shinsui is actually really good. And you changed my mind on this completely. I thought Sajun <laughs> was a little bit better. You've completely changed my mind. I, shouldn't, I, thought, I think now because we, uh, the purple bleach did prove that early aggression is what you're looking after. And <coughs> therefore, I think uh, instead of thinking about late game, uh, exactly. early game will be a little bit better. And that's where Shinsui really shines. Mm -hmm. And then finally, let's get to your big, big he uh, characters. You have such a big line of heroes. Now, the 13 court guards, the Bankai at 4 and Daigoran. I think a lot of people would argue, the special, of course, were at 4. But a lot of people argued Bankai is not necessary at 4. I believe it's extremely necessary at 4. Because if you go against somebody that plays two Bankais, you lose. Is, <laughs> that, is that the actual thought process behind four Bankais? Um, yeah, I think everyone's on the on board with like the four Bankais. I think um, I am as well. Um, I have seen um, with a person from Locals, he is a firm believer who also helped me with the deck, but he's also a firm believer on running only two or three. Uh, it can be a brick in hand, uh, which I understand. Sometimes you don't need it, but I think um, he's really good um, on like a huge Unahana uh, Toshiro turn or Unahana um, Kenpachi turn where you can um, Bankai and even uh, further extend your turn into like even uh, more characters. And maybe you need that extra um, AP for an extra body on board to fully uh, utilize Toshiro's ability. Nice, nice. Yeah, I really didn't believe in the Bankai at four, but I, then I went against a couple of decks and I saw what the purple bleach really does. It tries to get <clears> those Bankais as early as possible, play them out. It'll start playing Bankai at two AP before they even get to three. Just so they can kind of uh, steal uh, the aggression early game mm -hmm. from you. And therefore, I think Bankai is very, very necessary. A lot of people will argue against that. I think the Japanese, they only run two Bankais maximum every mm -hmm. deck. So this is very impressive. I think it's a four off. I think it's a must off. And I think the 13 core guard squad, uh, can you talk a little bit about that event? A lot of people uh, believe that uh, it makes the deck much stronger. What do you think about that? Would you ever drop that out? I don't think I ever will. I think uh, it's such a great card. Um, instead of using that one P AP for the extra draw, you're pretty much using one AP for two draws instead. Um, and with the, I think, like you said in your past videos of a Toshiro deck profile, um, with you playing out with so many cards, um, you're just refilling hand to go for another a big turn next turn. And having six uh, 13 court guards is so important. Um, with both Kampachi and Toshiro, I think um, is a well-needed card. Um, so instead of that 1 AP for draw, you can just use 1 AP for 2 draws. Yeah, the way you build your deck, it's so impressive. You can either go with smaller units and attack really early, or you can uh, build up a much bigger field. Uh, <clears throat> talk to me about the Onahana at 3. Is that something that you can bring up to 4? How come only 3? I really believe Onahana is broken. She steals <clears throat> the AP. Why only 3 of her? <laughs> Um, so I think the deck um, is running a little like um, thin, so I don't really have much room. Um, that's reason one. Reason two, I didn't have a fourth Unahana. <laughs> um, but I think I'll still keep it at three, honestly. Uh, with how much um, <laughs> no four. draw and um, and the searching power the, the deck has with both the two-cost Unahana, the two-cost events, um, I think you you probably will always see her. Um, I think even with your seven cards in hand and like three draws before um, your three AP turn, I think the percentage of having at least one Unahana is around like 40%. So um, I, I like to play around the percentages and I think three is a good number. Um, so I can go down um, and add one more uh, card that I think is more necessary. So Unahana is really good, I agree. Um, but I think good three is a good number for me because I think that that's consistent enough. I, I, I think yeah, I think it's perfect. I think you're right. Three. I think uh, four. We used to run four, but I think you're right. Three is a good number. Early, mm -hmm. if you see her, it's ne really not that great. What you want to do is you want to have a couple of turns where you've extended your board a little bit, got a little bit of uh, uh, of your op opponent's attention, and then uh, you can play her out, get three bodies all at once, attack, and kind of control the opponent. 
So if she, you see her a little bit early, yeah, she might be a dead card in your hand. Whereas I think if you see a Kenpachi Zaraki a little bit early, is that something that you were hoping to do? Can you tell us a little bit about a perfect for uh, like a perfect hand for you? What does it look like? Oh, um, <laughs> I you, you start uh, the game and you're yeah, like, wow, yeah. this is this is a great hand. What what does that hand look oh, like? Then probably let's say like one Unahana, one Jushiro, one Zero Cost Toshiro, one Event, a Shinsui a toshiro and a bankai wow probably. yeah wow, um, wow i like having that uh, toshiro shinshui combo really early on then i can use that bankai if i need to to really extend even more and then i have those searching powers with the um, the 13 court guard uh event to uh, try to do my next turn as well for like maybe a unahana turn Perfect, perfect. Talk to us a little bit about the tournament then. How was uh, Purple Bleach? Tell us about your matchups. <laughs> tell us what is. W w uh, tell us a little bit about the Purple Bleach. Do you think that's going to be a deck that's going to be a top contender for this format and potentially for the next format <clears throat> when JJKJ comes out? And then tell us um, uh, about your best matchups or worst matchups, would you? Yeah. Um, I, I think it's a, it's a very scary deck. Uh, currently playing really? it at locals as well. So um, playing against other other people, especially other Karapika decks, I think is um, a very good deck um, for that early game aggression. Whereas like a lot of decks right now, such as Green Yamamoto, um, sometimes if the deck is built differently, the Green Toshiro, and then um, other decks as well are a little slower. So that um, Purple Bleach does uh, give so much aggression that early game. And the Renji um, giving double damage. If they don't um, deal with that, it's always going to get that pressure of a chump blocker or that two damage. Wow, what's a good way to deal with that deck, do you think? If Toshiro is not going to be able to... How are you going to be able to deal with that? Um, I, I think I'm like hard mulligan trying to find the Toshiro ra uh, raid. Um, that and then hopefully just drawing into the Daigurin's, the, the, the special um, trigger event. Um, just seeing answers for their um, 4Ks is really good. Once they run out of steam, all they're doing is just paying one AP just to keep drawing because they don't have any. Um, mm. They don't have real draw power. They have cycling, but no real draw power, um, as well as um, no searching. Um, so I think once they run out of steam that early game, um, you can try to like stable out with um, you know your Toshiro's trying to get in for that Shinsui damage as well as like um, getting your Unahanas out. Wow, so you gotta survive that early aggression. Once yeah. you do, they kind of run out of steam and you can hold off. Uh, maybe they'll attack uh, one big attack after that. Besides that, everything is, is able to control. Mm -hmm. Very impressive, very impressive. Tell us about your matchups. Toshiro is such a strong uh, deck. I think he's really strong against Kurapika Green. But maybe he does worse against Purple Bleach. So tell us, which is your uh, good matchup against you? Throughout the tournament, how was Purple Ble uh, Hunter mm -hmm. x Hunter? How was uh, Purple Bleach against you? And then tell us about uh, you. Basically, tell us your best matchup and your worst matchup. Yep. Um, I, I think um, my best matchup probably is <laughs> anything other than Toshiro, the Mirror. Okay. Uh, Hunter, Hunter, Karapika, and then the Rush Bleach. Um, I think I have enough practice with all <laughs> the, the other decks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, where I think uh, this deck is just so consistent, in my opinion, that it it, um, it does really well into other things. Um, I like the mirror, honestly, uh, just because I think my uh, my knowledge of the deck and my play style of the deck, I think I can beat out other Toshiro players. Um, and then just the Kropika, I think it's such a hard deck. Um, Snipe being such a, a huge mechanic for that deck, I think it's such a strong mechanic, a um, little overtuned, in my opinion. But if they high roll... Even if they don't really high roll, I think they, they get to their uh, seven cost Karapika mm -hmm. so easily in the snipe. Getting rid of like my Toshiro's, my Unahana's, and then even my Kampachi is my like one of my only t uh, characters with impact. Um, being it's it's such a it's such a strong deck. Um, so I don't think I I don't think it's a total counter to uh, Karapika. I think it just does a. a okay job at it and then the rush bleach um i think how why i lost was just because i didn't really find um a, the raid toshiro okay i was having the a problem doing that even i think after one event so um i'm gonna test it more um against a purple bleach but i think um purple bleach does have a slight advantage over this deck 
Amazing, amazing. So I, I, I do agree with you. I think green is S tier. I think it's one of the best decks. I think it has a really strong matchup against Karapika. I don't know Purple Bleach. I actually never went against them. I went into the tournament to, uh, and I was mm -hmm. in Eggman. I did so bad. I think I was the 22nd or something. I did so bad. I played Karapika green. And uh, so Toshiro was really bad for me. I couldn't uh, deal with it. But also mm -hmm. the Purple Bleach is very interesting. Now it's probably going to be the top deck. I don't know if it will be the top deck in JJK. But yeah, man, I think Toshiro will be able to deal with it. It's very interesting. I do believe uh, when you say you're, you just couldn't find the Toshiro, I really do believe you. I think you have a, such a strong deck that you probably could deal with anything. Uh, now, I do want to uh, mention a couple of things before we go. Uh, tell me, is there anything... We are going to uh, end the video very soon. But tell me, is there anything in the deck that you would remove, change out now that you've played a lot? You've tested <coughs> it, you went through this tournament, you've seen this Purple Bleach. Because we didn't see Purple Bleach before the tournament. We, we, nobody ever saw that deck yeah. before. They just came up with it. They were brewing it uh, for that tournament specifically. Tell me, now mm -hmm. that you've seen that, you went through... Uh, there's not a lot of content on UA right now, to be honest with you. It's very stale. But what would you change in this deck? Just a final comment maybe for this deck. Um, my only thing I would change is maybe go up to four Unahanas. Um, what I would take out, that is <laughs> to the side later on. Um, but I think... A fourth Unahana would be pretty cool, um, pretty good for the deck, just to see if I can get her out more uh, more often. But other than that, I, I like my ratios, I like my my Shinsui's, I like my uh, Shinji's. I think Shinji is a very, very good card. It won me like, the game against Karapika, actually, because I had three of them in hand. I just had three impact um, and got the game from there. Man, this is so impressive, man. Michael Tran, thank you. I think uh, you have inspired a lot of people to build a really strong Toshiro deck. Uh, while we're ending here, can you tell us where people can find you? Is there a YouTube channel where people can come and see you? Are you online anywhere? Um, don't have uh, much of a... I do have a YouTube. I just don't post anything about One Piece or UA. Um, but shout out to the Caro crew, me, uh, Katakori, and Wicked. We're a little small team, um, but we practice together, we play together, play regionals together. So if you um, follow Katakori on Twitter, um, K-A-T-A-C-O-R-R-I-E, um, she does a lot of, um, a lot of posts um, and then a lot of posts about me and Wicked's um, um, achievements as well. Nice, guys. So make sure you guys join Katakori on Twitter. And I'm sure if you want to get big on, uh, if you do get a, a YouTube channel and start posting on it, just come back and we'll we'll throw yep. out your channel For whenever sure. you're ready. Uh, such a pleasure, Michael Tran. Thank you so much. Any no, final uh, comments uh, about uh, UA in general? Where do you think the game is heading? What do you think about the direction of the game? Final comments. Um, loving the game. Um, I was very excited when the game come out uh, came out. Excited for the future formats. Um, I think this is a, a great game, and especially in the West, I think people are very excited for what the game has to come. So, um, yeah, final words. Just thank you for your content as well. I think you're doing a great job for the community, great job for the game. Um, thank everyone uh, for watching. And then, yeah, I think uh, UA is great. Sweet. Thank you so much, Michael Tran. We're out.